welcome to this online session on evolution of programming languages myself shilpa an assistant professor in computer science maharani science college for women mysore the main objective of this session is to understand the concepts of programming and the evolution of programming languages to understand this session you must have a basic knowledge on the fundamentals of computer if we want the computer to do certain task we must give proper instructions to perform that task we normally do it by writing a computer program a program is a set of instructions given to the computer to perform a specific task to write a computer program we use a language called a programming language a programming language is an artificial language used to instruct a computer to perform a task with the evolution of computer programming languages also evolved let us now discuss the evolution of programming languages late in 1940 a language called machine level language was used to instruct the computer it is considered as the first generation language here in machine level language all the program instructions are written using the binary digits zeros and ones for example to perform addition of 5 and 3 we should write 00000101 which is the binary equivalent of digit 5 and 10000101 which is the binary equivalent of the addition operation plus and 00000011 which is the binary equivalent of the decimal digit 3 similarly to perform subtraction multiplication and division you must remember the binary equivalent of each operations since all the instructions are written using binary digits these instructions are directly understood by the computer and immediately executed here you could ask me that does the computer really understand zeros and ones strictly speaking the computer does not even understand zeros and ones the hardware components of the computer can only understand electrical pulses it is just a convention that is followed by the developer that the presence of high voltage value is assumed to be bit 1 and the presence of low voltage value is assumed to be bit 0 and vice versa hence we say that machine language is the only language that is understood by the computer the major drawbacks of machine level language programs are as follows in order to write a program one has to remember the binary equivalent of all the operations which is a very tedious task hence it is very difficult to learn and write programs in machine level language not only that if we do any mistake while writing a program finding the location of the mistake or the error is very difficult so finally the machine level language programs are highly architecturally dependent which means a program written on one machine cannot be executed on the machine with a different architecture so these drawbacks led to the development of the next level programming language which is called assembly level language one of the first step in improving the program writing is the use of symbolic terms called mnemonics instead of binary digits for example to instruct the computer to perform addition of 5 and 3 in assembly level language we should write add 5 comma 3 here the term add is a mnemonic which is easy for the programmer to understand and remember in 1950 assembly level language is considered as the second generation language since the computer can only understand the instruction written in machine level language or the binary language a program which is written in assembly level language has to be converted into machine level language or the binary language and this is done by a translator called assembler an assembler is a system software which translates the assembly level language program into a machine level language program the advantage of using assembly level language is as follows it is easy for the programmer to learn and write programs in assembly level language the use of symbolic terms like add sub sub etc made direct correction easier the major drawbacks of assembly level language programs are as follows 
a program written in assembly level language are still machine dependent which means a program written on one machine cannot be executed on the other machine with a different architecture as we have discussed a program written in assembly level language cannot be understood by the machine there comes a need for a translator because of this translation process the computer takes more time to complete the program execution to overcome the drawbacks of assembly level language a new set of languages which uses english words and mathematical symbols were designed in 1960 and they were called as i level programming languages fortran cobol c c++ smalltalk simula java c sharp vb are some of the examples of i level programming languages to perform addition of two numbers 5 and 3 in c language we will write 5 plus 3 which is more readable the advantage of using high level programming languages are as follows a program written in high level language can be easily executed on any machine without any modification which means all the high level language programs are machine independent and also it is easy for the programmer to learn and write programs using high level language since we use english words and mathematical symbols error correction is much easier than any other programming language the main disadvantage of high level language is the program written in high level language takes more time to run and requires more main memory because of the use of translators next we will discuss the types of high level programming language there are many types of high level programming language the most popular types are procedure oriented programming language and object oriented programming language let us now discuss procedure oriented programming language procedure oriented programming is a conventional programming paradigm which is based on the concepts of procedure also known as routines functions or methods procedure is nothing but a set of instructions which performs a particular task the most popular programming languages like cobol pascal and c falls into this category the drawbacks of procedure oriented programming are procedure oriented programming focuses only on procedure here data is not considered important procedure oriented programming does not model real world problems hence it is confined only to build a small applications the next is object oriented programming language the drawbacks of procedure oriented programming language led to the development of object oriented programming language here real world objects are the basis of object oriented programming and it is best suited to solve real world problems c++ java simula c sharp python are the few popular object oriented programming languages which are used today simula is considered as the first object oriented programming language developed in 1960 so in our subsequent session we will discuss more on object oriented programming with an object oriented programming language called java the drawbacks so today in the session we have discussed language 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 thing but as a lot of instructions which performs a particular task so in our subsequent session we will discuss the most more popular programming languages programming like cobol with pascal and object oriented programming languages called java the main so drawbacks of the session of we have procedure oriented programming the evolution the main of programming drawbacks languages, of procedure oriented advantages and disadvantages of programming languages procedure oriented programming more on procedure oriented programming on language and the drawbacks of procedure oriented programming language which led to the development of object oriented programming language this is the assignment questions for you thank you for your patience listening